Hi, it's Old Backpacker and welcome to San Miguel de Ande. So I arrived in San Miguel yesterday afternoon, um, straight into the hostel, doing a bit of chilling. And I'm still in central Mexico. And you see on the map where we are now. Planning on being here for a couple of days, mainly because this place is famous for its hot springs. And I'm gonna try and get to a hot spring today. So the hostel gave us directions where we go for to get the bus up to the hot springs. And we've been up, uh, walked around for half an hour, asking various people where to go. We're supposed to get, uh, and it looks like we're not gonna go today. So whatever plans we had, now changed. We're now gonna go sightseeing instead. So because the idea of going to the hot spot today has been scrapped, we've decided to go sightseeing. And this is central. But more importantly, we're going to try and find somewhere to eat because we're starving. So after about half an hour of searching the centre for somewhere cheap and nasty to eat something that was edible, we've found that most of the places around here are very expensive. San Miguel is a UNESCO heritage site and it's got lots of tourists that come to this place. But also there's a high percentage of expats from Canada and the USA here. So obviously it's a little bit expensive and the place that we found that was cheap wasn't cheap for our budget. But it was edible and it looks like I'm gonna be doing some shopping to be cooking in the kitchen for the next couple of days to keep the budget down. But on with the sizing. So we've just come off the side street into this place and it's a gallery and full of prices that we can't afford. It still looks nice. So right now I'm in the Civic Square, which is, according to the signs, one of the busiest and largest in the city. We've got some food and a horse on a statue over there and a churchy thing over there. I'd love to know the history of the place, but there's not much to find out. It still looks nice. So one of the things you've got to get used to for San Miguel is the cobbled roads. Especially if you're going to be wearing flip-flops all day. Try and bring a pair of decent shoes. Second attempt to try and get these uh, these hot springs. We found the bus. The bus is there. However, we did see it at 10 o'clock, but we've been told now 25 past 10. So about 25 minutes of waiting around. So we've just been dropped off by the bus on the side of the highway. Got a rough idea of where we're going, but we'll find out. So we've been walking for about 10 minutes and so far nothing. We're just basically following two people in front of us thinking that they know where they're going. All a part of the adventure. So I've got my towel, my water and a book to read. And I think it's time to head into the hot springs to find out where the lake.
So I've just come out of the hot springs and the first thing you feel is, oh my God, it's cold. Obviously the, the hot water, the natural hot water is, is just beautiful. But yeah, I'm, I'm cold, so I'm going to grab a towel and wrap it around me. So that's me back in the hostel now after a nice long relaxing day and we were lucky enough to get a lift back with two ladies who had an Uber and said, do you want to lift back to San Miguel in their bestest English, which was really nice of them. But it's my last night in San Miguel, uh, leaving tomorrow morning, um, not too sure as usual where I'm going. But because we're going further south, cities are more close together. So it's going to be a short trip, we hope. And if you like the video, press the like button. If you want to subscribe, press subscribe. And if you press that bell in the corner, you'll get notified of when the next video will be out. So from me and from Homer, bye-bye for now.